I refuse in Jesus' name. Till me kata, ada suli sa suli kama yeta na suli ni baya sana. How do I answer that one? Actually, when I was dating my wife, my wife, I would say that it was not allowed for me to go visit her alone. I would always have a brother with me because we believed in purity. We believed that we were we were human beings, and so we needed to honor God even in our relationships. There's a struggle, by the way. When you go for the studies for Bible school, like I went, and then uh, suddenly the church not pay for me. Uh, somebody promised to pay my school fees, they never paid for me. And I began to clean the library books to make a scholarship to cut grass. When I went to my masters, I was cooking for other students to be able to make ends meet to pay my salary. I mean, sorry, my school fees. When I went to UK to do my PhD, I became a night supervisor to be able to raise some money for my family. You know, I was a watchman and God has called me to this thing. And I said to God, please, I know you are there. Give me strength, I will make it. I don't know exactly what people say, humble background. I was, uh, I was one of those young people that confused parents generally. Because uh, on the outside, nice person, soft spoken, Bila Maneno Mingi, but the reality was I was just like any other teenager uh, my age and did pretty much everything my age mates were doing at that time. My sister was a pastor before me, a year before me, in chapel, I was in chapel, that's where she entered internship to serve. So when I said, of course it was shocking, and the first question is, unafanya hivi ju sister kwa unafanya ama you sure this is what you want to do? I remember my wife asking me, and how are we going to manage? Because you see now, we are not young, we have children who are in college. Now if we interrupt our source of income, how are we going to, how are we going to survive? Yes, and God can call even the older ones, not only just the younger ones.